Question 22. The following figure shows a quadrilateral PQRS and a circle passing through the vertices P, R and S. Lines PQ is equals to PR is equals to 2.7 cm. PS is equals to 6 cm. SR is equals to 7 cm. And angle PQR is equals to 65 degrees. So the diagram is there with all the measurements indicated. A part 1, you are supposed to calculate the length of QR. Let's go to the diagram. QR. So you can see QR, where QR is. So to get that, consider triangle PQR. Uh, you're given two sides. 2.7 QP or PQ is 2.7. PR is 2.7, meaning this one is an isosceles triangle. And if that is the case, uh, it means that this one is also 65 degrees. And uh, the remaining angle, because of the sum of angles in the triangle, this will be 50 degrees. So having two given sides and an angle, we can use sine rule and we'll be able to get this. Sign rule, if I let uh, the side opposite P to be denoted by small p, side opposite R to be denoted by small r, side opposite Q, small q, this is the sign rule. The sign rule given using this P over sine of P is equals to R over the sine of R is equals to the other one is Q over the sine of Q. QR is the side I have denoted with P. So I can pick this. That will help me in getting QR. So P, uh, P which is a QR. So P over the sine of P is equals to R. You can use R over sine of R or you can use Q divided by sine of Q. Uh, all these will give you the same answer. So R is 2.7 over the sine of R. So P is what you're looking for. P over the sine of P. Sine of P is 50. Angle P is 50 is equals to R is 2.7 divided by sine of R. Angle R is 65. So just make P the subject. The formula P be given by 2.7 sine 50 divided by sine of 65 degrees. This will give 2.8, 2.28, give 2.282 centimeters. So that is QR. So remember P was QR. Angle, that is part 2. Angle PRS. PRS, PRS, you can see that angle, this is, here. This is the angle got to get, and uh, together we're going to consider triangle PRS, PRS, consider that triangle, you are given all the sides, 6, 7, and 2.7 in that triangle, so to solve that, to get that angle, we can use the cosine rule. So I will let this uh, side opposite R to be noted by R. Side opposite S. So the side opposite S. Name that as S. Like that. Side opposite P. Name it like that. So not this. So now. This is how we use the cosine rule. Since you're looking for angle, P, R, S, 
this is how we, we give the cosine rule r squared is equals to the sum of the squares of the other sides which is uh, p and s p squared plus s squared minus 2 ps cosine of the angle at r the angle at r that is what you're looking for so that is how you go about the cosine rule so let's substitute these figures so we have r so r is uh, 6 so that will be 6 squared minus p p is 7 and s is s is 2.7 minus 2 multiply by p multiply by s multiply by the cosine of and go r like that so working out these 6 squared is 36 is equals to 7 squared plus 2.7 squared that will give 56.29 minus 2 times 7 times 2.7 that will give that 7.8 cosine of r so i will take a uh, negative that is 7.8 cosine of r to the left hand side so i'll take this on this side and then i'll take 36 to the right hand side so we'll get that is 7.8 cosine of r is equals to 56.29 minus 36 and this will give 37.8 cosine of r is equals to when you subtract that 56.29 minus 36 you get 20.29 so divide both sides by that 7.8 and that will remain with cosine of r of 20.29 divided by that is 7 Point eight, and this will give cosine of r to be given by this you divide that 20.29 divided by that 7.8 that will give 0 0.5368 to get r you need to get the cos inverse of 0 0.5368 cos inverse of that and this will give 57.54 degrees and that is angle r which is also angle p r s that is the angle that you're looking for the last question determine the area of the circle so let's go to that circle to get the area of that circle we need to get the radius since for us to get the area area of the circle is given by pi r squared so we don't have the radius so we need to calculate the how do we get the radius we get the radius from the sine rule already we have obtained this angle that is here so let me sketch this so this is r this is a p this is s so we already have this angle as 57.54 and you have this side which is 7 this is 6 and this is 2.7 so we can use the sine rule. We can use the sine rule, which is uh, six divided by sine of fifty-seven point four is equals to two r. This is what is going to help us to get the 
the radius. So using the sine rule. So let's go to the working. So 6 divided by sine of 6 divided by the sine of 57 point 5 form Greece is equals to 2 R. So 6 divided by sine of 57.54 that will give 7.111 is equals to 2 R. So to get R, divide both sides by 2 and radius will be 3.555 centimeters. Now we have the the radius. Area is equals to, we'll use pi to be 3.142 times the radius. That is 3.555 squared. And this will give 39.71 centimeters squared. So that is how we're supposed to solve that question.